RouterOS is in continuous evolution. As all the software, RouterOS requires fixes, requires upgrades, and Mirotic is always delivering new releases. In this class, we'll explore the different releases, the different options, different channels that we have for those releases, and how we can upgrade our device. That means installing a higher version of the operating system, and also we'll see how to downgrade a device. That means going to a prior version of the operating system. Let's analyze the different options that we have for router OS releases. So Myrotic has divided those releases in three different channels. The first one is called long term. So that one is going to include fixes to known bugs, but it's not going to add new features. For example, if uh, there is a vulnerability that has been identified on the software, then Myrotic is going to fix that and it's going to provide a new release that are going to be in the long term. So if we are installing a long term version, that means that we are going to fix vulnerabilities, but we're not going to install any new features. The second channel is the stable. A stable is going to provide the same fixes the long term, but is going to include new features. For example, if there is a new functionality, then that is going to be present in that stable release. And then we have testing. Testing is basically something that is in a beta version. So for example, if there is a new functionality that is not extensively deployed or tested, then it's going to be in the testing phase. You can see in the diagram here that we have those three channels. We have the beta version. So when MyRoutine is going to add a new functionality, first it's going to go to the beta version. After some testing and passing through different phases, eventually it's going to hit the stable and also the long-term option. So you can see that the uh, first functionality, the new functionality, went to the stable version. And then the stable is going to have different releases. But we have the long term at the top. So after some time, that uh, stable version will go to the long term. And then we are going to have 6, 31, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. So you can see that in the long term for 6, 30, is always going to keep the same major version and it's just going to be changing the last number. And that is because it's just fixing bugs. For beta, you will see the RC, that means release candidate. So it's going to go through over different options, but eventually it's going to hit the stable. So the recommendation is to use the stable version if we want to gain advantage of the recent features. But if we are OK with the current features that are supported in our device, most likely we'll be installing the long-term option. To upgrade the operating system, we have two options. The first one is a pretty simple process that will be performed from the Winbox or from the terminal. And that is by going to System, then Packages, check for updates. And this is going to look for a specific release. We are going to pick the channel and then the window is going to suggest a version that we can download or we can download and install. So we'll see how to do that in the upcoming lab here in this class. The second method is to perform a manual process. So we can go to myrode.com slash download. We are going to look for the specific version of the operating system. We are going to download a package in our computer. And then we're simply going to drag and drop that package or file to the Winbox. And after having that file, we're going to reboot the router. So let's see how that looks like by going to the laptop. I have the Hub Mini with Router S6. We're going to upgrade to Router S7. So we're going to see how that process is going to go now. So here I am in the laptop. So if now I go here to the Winbox, if we want to check the current version of Router OS, we can simply go to System and then Resources. So if I click on System, Resources, then we can see here that we have the version 6.49.7 Stable. That's the version of Router OS that is installed in this device. If I want to use the easier method, I simply need to go to System and then Packages. And then here, you can see that the, we have this option, check for updates. So if I click here, 
and now I can pick the channel. So if I expand that list, you can see that I have long term, stable, and testing. Since we are in router S6 and we can go to router S7, that's a major upgrade. Now we can see this option upgrade. So if I click here, this is going to suggest the latest stable version. In this case, it's 7.6. In this case, it's 7.6. If I want to install that version, I will simply click download and install. If I click in that option, that is going to trigger the download of the file and then it's going to reboot the router. So that means that we are going to lose connectivity for that period of time. If I want to download the file only and then to reboot manually later, we can do that as well. So for example, if I click here in download, this is going to start downloading that file. So we can see the status bar here at the bottom. So we can see that this is retrieving that file from the Microtech servers. After having that file, we can wait for a specific uh, moment to reboot the router or we can reboot the router just immediately. After getting that file, I'm going to go to System and then Reboot. And that is going to reboot the router and install the new version of the operating system. So I'm going to wait for that file and then we'll continue just in a bit. So now the file has been downloaded. So, so you can see, please reboot router to upgrade it. So I will go to System. And then here we find this option Reboot. So I will click there. This is asking, are you sure that you want to reboot the router? I will say yes. And now the router is going to be rebooted. So after some seconds, I will have access to that device again. So I will pause the class, and then I will return once we get access via Winbox. So now we are back in the Winbox, and you can see that I got this message dynamically. So now the router knows you are with the latest update. So we have the system is already up to date. We have the installed version 7.6 and the latest version 7.6 as well. So that's the operating system. There is another thing that we need to upgrade as well, and that is the firmware. So to do that, we are going to go here to system and then to router board. And we need to match the version of the software to the firmware. So you can see that the upgrade version is 7.6. So we need to install that latest version. To do that, we simply need to click on Upgrade and click on Yes. And now this is going to upgrade the firmware as well. It's always a good practice that after upgrading the operating system, we are going to upgrade the firmware. In that way, we are avoiding any potential problems with uh, the hardware management in that device. So now we'll go to System, and I will reboot that device again. We have access to the Winbox again, and now we have upgraded this device to the latest stable version. So what happened if we want to downgrade that uh, version of the operating system? So in that case, we need to explore how we are going to find the releases of Router OS. But in this case, we are going to go to myrotic.com. So let's go to the main PC, and then we'll explore how that website looks like and how to find the software that is appropriate for our device. So if I go here to myrotic.com, we're going to go to software. And then under software, we find router OS. So we have seen this uh, screen before. But now we need to find the specific architecture for our CPU. So if I go back to the laptop, and if I check the title bar, so you can see here at the top that I have HAB Mini as MIPS. So that value, in parentheses, is the architecture of the CPU. Also, we can get that value. We go to System and then Resources. You can see the CPU MIPS. So basically, that's the value. The architecture name is as MIPS. So that's the file that we need to download from myrotic.com. Let's go back to the website. And now we can see here that for every version of the operating system, we have different architectures. So we are looking for SMIPS. So if we want to install Router OS in that device, we are going to get this main package. So we'll talk about the extra packages in one of the upcoming classes. But for now, we're going to look for the main package. 
So this is only going to show the latest stable version and also the testing. You can see that there is no long term for router OS 7 at this point in time. Maybe when you are watching this class, there is going to be an additional column for long term. But now there is no column for long term for router OS 7. If we need to go back to router OS 6, also we can go here and here we have long term and we have a stable. We don't have the testing column because MyRotic is not uh, creating new features for Router S6 anymore because now they are working on Router S7. So here also we have the SMIPS. If I need to go back a few releases, I can go with that. But if, if I need to go back to the latest uh, release for version 6, we can pick this file here, the main package. But let's say that I want to go back just a few versions in Router S7. So in that case, we can go to the archive. So here in the menu, download archive. If I click there, I will see all the different releases for Router S6 and 7. So now we are in 7.6. So I want to show you how to downgrade the version. So let's say that I want to go from 7.6 to 7.5. So now we'll go to 7.5. Here I have all the packages, but I need to look for SMIPS because that's the one that has the correct architecture. So if I go down here, eventually you will see that file router s 7.5smips.mpk. So that's the file that I need to download, but I'm gonna do that in my laptop. So go in here to, to the laptop, myrotic.com and then software, download archive. I will look for release 7.5, smips.mpk. Now I will simply click on that file and then I'm going to download a file. After having that file, I will simply drag and drop that file to the Windows. So I will click on that file, I will drag and drop that We'll go to the icon of the Winbox. Anywhere inside the Winbox, I can simply drop that file. Now you can see that the file is being transferred to that device. Currently, we had a version 7.6, but we're trying to go to version 7.5. So that's called a downgrade process. So we'll wait a few seconds for that file to be transferred to this device and then we'll continue from there. So now we have the file in our router. So to proceed with the downgrade process, we are going to go to System and then to Packages. And then here you can see that at the top, I have a button for Downgrade. So we can simply click on Downgrade. And this is going to ask, after Restart Router will be downgraded. Are you sure about that? If I say yes, now the router is going to be rebooted and then it's going to look for a package on the file system with a version that is prior to the current installed version. So after a few seconds, I will have access to that device again and I will see if we can get the 7.5 running in that device. We'll continue in a bit. Now we are back on the device and if we check the title bar, we can see that we are running the version 7.5 of Router OS. That means that the downgrade process has been successful. But remember, the next step is to match the firmware to the operating system. That's something that we must remember after upgrading or downgrading the operating system. So let's go to System and then Router Board. And we can see that the current firmware is 7.6, but the upgrade firmware is 7.5. So I'm going to click in Upgrade, Yes, and we'll reboot the system again. After doing that, we'll have access to the device running the router at version 7.5 with the same version of the firmware. In one of the upcoming classes, we'll see what exactly the firmware and what the purpose inside the device. But for now, you need to be aware that the operating system should match the version of the firmware to avoid any potential problems. I hope that this class has been informative for you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.